Hey, what's up, guys? Just here in Gans Army. Hey, guys, all doing? All right. So, a couple of things today. We're talking about uh, the um, toy show I, I sold toys at this weekend, and we're also going to talk about going my wish list here of the top five uh, GI Joe classified Haslabs I'd like to see in the next, you know, five six years, whatever. Right? Or actually, I got I got six of them. Five's like a oh, that'd be awesome to get. One's a wish list, which probably won't won't happen. But if it did happen, it'd be uh, hefty price tag. So, all right. But first, let's talk about the the con, man. It was a, my boy Braden uh, Haney. He owns uh, Outcast Collectibles in uh, Williamsburg, Ohio. Check that out on uh, Facebook, Outcast Collectibles. Uh, you know, he started a, last year. I think it was October. He did his first con. You know, his tour, first toy show. It was, it was, you know, for what it was, it wasn't bad, right? But this one, so much better. A lot more people. A lot more sellers. I mean, it was it was a great time. Uh, I enjoyed it. I, I got a couple things. We'll show you off what I got, right? Uh, but yeah, it was great. Uh, here, let me show you. First of all, I'll show you a little video. Check this video out. Uh, it's just you know, me at the con, kind of showing my table and stuff. So let's go to the video. Hey, here I am at the uh, toy show. We set it up. Sadly, Dad wasn't able to come with me this time. I know he's missing it. He's already messaged me about four or five times, asking me how it is. I'm like, dude, I just get set up and. But I know because he loves doing this kind of stuff, but next time he'll be with me. Uh, you know, there's a lot of good vendors here. You're going to go in there and check it out, show you guys what I got, and uh, kind of send you. So we'll, uh, we'll do that and we'll see where we're at, right? So, you guys, hey, I'm going to go inside. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I moved it so I It took about 40 minutes for the doors open. Uh, so it's ready to have them all set up. I may have a good time. You know, a lot of good vendors here. So can't wait to uh, see what happens today. All right, hey guys. Hey, have a good day. Talk to you later. Uh, it is short one. I hope you guys like that. Like I said, and if you guys, if you guys want, want something, hey, message me. We'll see what, uh, see what I got. Ask me. I might have something. All right. So let's look at what I got there. Here's my notebook. I write some stuff down. Well, I don't know if you guys watched the video like a long, long time ago. I did one where I'd gotten Lobo, right? The cool figure. And like he was broke. He was missing like, his knee pad and stuff, right? So I was able to trade Lo Lobo for a figure. Boom, look at that. There he is. How freaking cool is that? Lobo is just awesome. He's just a sweet looking figure. He's, you know, he's like a, what, like, kind of like a mean Deadpool kind of like guy. Yeah, just sweet. Just a great figure. I'm going to put that on my DC shelf. I said, I don't have a lot of DC, but mostly it's all, you know, one, um, Harley. I got my Shazam. Now I got Lobo. I want to get a Batman. I think I got Batman. Actually, I think I got Batman somewhere in these boxes. And a Joker. I know I got those in a jump box somewhere. But anyway, so, uh, yeah, that's what I got. I got a Lobo. And then, uh, talking about Wonder Woman, I got this awesome looking Wonder Woman from the, uh, it's the Batman Last Night on Earth Wonder Woman. This looks freaking sweet. Comes with a Bane build figure I don't care about the build figure I just think it looks awesome, this Wonder Woman. I have like the, um, the one with the chainsaw, and then I have a, the other one, um, which is wearing a gold mask helmet. And then, so I got a couple other Wonder I'm going to put those on my shelf too if I can find them. But yeah, so this is awesome one. I just think she looks really sweet in that. And then, yeah, I've been looking at this one. I've been wanting this one. I haven't pulled the trigger on it, but I found it for like ten. I found it for cheap at uh, very cheap at the uh, con. Power Girl. Ooh, yeah, and like uh, you can. Um, there's actually a, a guy in here you can put together. But Power Girl. So we'll open these up later. But I thought those are like I said. That's what I got today. Um, so yeah, cool. All right, maybe move out of the way, and we'll start talking about Haslabs. Okay. So let me move these out of the way. So, you know, so far the Joes have killed the Haslab. They got the Hiss Tank. Uh, and then we have the Dragonfly coming next year. So now, you know, it's time to start talking about what will be the next Haslab. Okay? Now, I, I, I got, I picked up five that I thought would be awesome to get. Right? Kind of looking through and like, some is kind of like, uh, but some, you know, you kind of look at them like, huh. 
you know, what, what would the price point be on these and everything? So my one that I guess I wish, by the way, would probably be a huge price point because it's a huge vehicle. There's so much stuff I can do with it. And it's not the fly, guys. But the Rolling Thunder with Armadillo. Man, this one, I had this one as a kid. I love this thing. It was so freaking awesome. I mean, it was a, it was a rolling base. You had the missiles that come out of the top of it. You can move it around. This thing was just freaking awesome. I love this vehicle. I mean, how cool it is to be seen as a classified. But, of course, this thing as a classified, I mean, it's about as big as my table, maybe a little bigger. So, the classified, it had to be that big. You know, I mean, those missiles would stand, you know, four foot tall or something. So, I'm sure that would be a miss. I mean, that would be a, you know, like, not a miss, but that would be like a, you know, five, six hundred dollar vehicle. So, I, so... That's just a wish. I wish you could see it, but even if they did it, probably not going to be able to get it because it's, it's going to be so expensive. But that's okay. Because I got five on here. I think they could pull off. And I, maybe not. I don't know. I'm not great with sight, you know, like figuring out, like, okay, this will be this big or whatever, right? So let's just look at it, right? So I'm going through. I'm thinking, you know what? Why well, was a cool one? And it, of course, it's a three, it's a three vehicle thing because it, just, it was a cool one. The maggot with worms, the driver, man, that was that was a cool one because you could take it apart. You had like the the uh, your command center here. You had the little little driver, the tank here, and then like you had the uh, you take it off and you had the legs and you set the the, the uh, gun to fire, right? So that'd be a cool vehicle to have. Is the maggot as a Haslab? I'm sure they could do something really cool with it. Put some lights. I don't know what else they could do. Put it in the uh, Definitely lights in the uh, communication area or something. I don't know. I'm sure they could figure out something to do with it and make it look awesome. All right. Now, number four. This, the, I love this one. I had this one as a kid too. I loved it. The Mauler, right? Man, that brown tank. Plus, it moves, right? So, like, how that cool would a Hazlab be that you could move it? Like, it would just roll on its own, huh? How cool that. And he, of course, he comes with heavy metal. That was always a, that was always an awesome tank. I love that one. I mean, you had the Mobat was like cool, all right. But the Mauler was I think was even better than the Mobat tank. The Mauler I, I love that. Like I said, I had it. Uh, heavy metal comes with him. Awesome. Number three. This is one. Like, these next three like like one I didn't have, one I didn't get to later in life. But this one I had, and I thought this is one of the one of the uh, best Joe vehicles they ever. And of course, it's Cobra. The hydrofoil, right? Uh, with, with Lamprey, the driver. This thing was awesome. I loved it, man. You can pop out his tails up. But how cool would this thing look? Guns everywhere. You got the torpedoes. I think they could do this one. I mean, you could put lights all over. I think this would look, you know, a little searchlight. You can actually make it work. How cool would that be? See, I think um, the, the uh, you know, the hydrofoil would be an awesome, awesome Hazlab for the pickup, right? And then number two, I didn't have this one. But I, uh, you know, I, I, I ended up getting it later on, but it was the Hovercraft with, uh, with Cutter. How cool would that, I mean, I, mean, I keep saying how cool would that be. It, it definitely would be cool. Um, the Hovercraft would be awesome to get that and have Cutter. And, you know, you have a little motorcycle, make it a little bigger. Uh, you have like the, you know, you gotta have to eject the uh, depth charges, you know. I mean, yeah, just, I think this would just, it would be great. Great. Like I said, I think all these you can keep under three, 300, 350 around that area. I'm just guessing. Okay, so listen, this is just wish list. This is my wish list. This is why, yeah, you guys might be like, man, those all suck. We want something else, but yeah, hey, is your wish? This is my wish. This is my wish list. Now, number one, I love to see this one because I mean, we just got, we just got the uh, yeah dragonfly. It's gonna be time for Cobra to get something, right? What if we got? The Rattler with Wild Weasel. How freaking awesome. That was like my favorite. That was like, me think. That's probably one of my favorite vehicles was the Rattler. I mean, it just look, you know, of course, it looks like a A10 Thunder, Thunderbolt. You know, the machine gun in the front. So, uh, this would be awesome to have uh, as, a, as a Haslab. The Rattler. I think I think it's definitely doable. Uh, maybe it would probably be a little bit bigger than a Dragonfly, maybe. I don't know. Definitely doable. I, I think it'd be awesome. And then, like after that, say you got the Rattler, and then the next year, what if you get the uh, Sky Striker?
But uh, I'm just, I mean, I, see, and, and with the Half-Life thing, like I said, these are my wish list. The, the, there's so many you could, you could draw out. I, I know they talk about like uh, the Dreadnought and Thunder Machine. They said it's probably not going to happen as a HasLab. So, okay, that's cool. We'll take that one off the list. But then, like, with all these, you can pull out like different, um, you know, different uh, tiers. Like, you know, the Rattler comes with like, um, you know, you got the Wild Weasel. Didn't the Baroness fly a lot in the Rattler? Maybe like a Baroness in Flight Suit, right? Ooh, maybe get a parachute or something. I don't know. Hovercraft, you got Cutter. Maybe you end up getting, um, you know, a different version of Shipwreck and Deeps and uh, Shipwreck and uh, Torpedo, right? Who knows? I mean, there's all kinds of different things you go with these and go with the tiers with them, right? Um, so, yeah. All right, so like I said, these are, uh, I th yeah, these are like the ones I picked. Uh, and, and this is go over. Yeah, like I said, the Maggot with Worms be number five. The Mauler and Heavy Metal be number four. The Hydrofoil and Lamprey, number three. Hydrocraft and Cutter, number two. And the Rattler with Wild Weasel, number one. So those are my, uh, those are my, that's my wish list for the Haslabs, right? That's what I'd like to see. All right, guys. So, uh, you know, I showed you my weekly purchase. I got it from the show. Showed you a little bit of the show. Like I said, it was awesome. Uh, I think the next one, we're talking about May. So, uh, yeah, you have to come out to that one if you're, you know, like I said, I'll, I know it's a long ways away, but I'll promote it as we get closer. Uh, there's my HasLab wish list, uh, you know. So that's that's what I got today. Um, not a whole lot going on. Just kind of just want to talk to you guys a little bit, you know. Um, so remember to check my TikTok out. We'll see, you know, see different things on there. Uh, I post every day on there. That way you guys can, you know, see different stuff. Where it's me building a Lego or you know machine or uh, you know an, an unboxing or just you know me talking about something, right? So, guys, hey, I hope you guys have a good day. Have a good week, all right? And, hey, take care. You're dismissed.